music channel. Today I'm going to look at the solution for guitar practicing or guitar learning. Uh, and one thing I discovered was that I, I wanted a, a good uh, web interface or a software program that you could uh, have single note uh, status when you are practicing but also how to put an, an um, audio file uh, as a background to that. I've been using Guitar Pro and uh, it has not been that easy to, to you can make background tracks uh, in a MIDI way in that software and um, you also have um, uh, band in a box but uh, it's different difficult to put in uh, notation guitar tabs in in that uh, try to search for different solutions for this and I found a website called sound slice and it was pretty good <coughs> difficult to sync and match the audio file then I discovered um, uh, guitar Pro 8 where you actually can drag and drop an audio file and have as background and backing track into your uh, single note notation and uh, I will try to give you an example of how I use it so you can see uh, it was very helpful for me to have this kind of uh, solution in, in this solution I use Guitar Pro 8 uh, when I have my single note melody notation for a guitar and I make the chord progression in Band in the Box and uh, export that as an audio file and import it as a background backing track in uh, Guitar Pro 8. So, I will demonstrate it. Hello, and now I'm going to demonstrate how I use an audio file as a backing track in Guitar Pro, which is a new feature in Guitar Pro 8. Uh, I've been looking for this solution in different ways uh, for a long time and uh, found uh, different ways to do it. Uh, all have been uh, more or less complicated. Uh, when I found this in Guitar 8, it was a uh, really great experience. So I have here a blue slick in uh, not Guitar Tab notation in G Guitar Pro 8. And I will hop on over to Band in the Box. And uh, here I have a song in Slow Swing 8 blues style. And I will have it in nine bars and one chorus. And I will do it in C minor. And it will be 92 beats per minute to match the Guitar Pro. 92 beats per minute and nine bars. And here I have the C minor 7 and the F minor 7 and the C minor 7 chord. So I will do the same here, C minor 7 chord. And here on the 7th bar I have the F minor 7. And on the 9th I have the C minor 7. And then I will export it as a wave field here to... Yes, I have a, already one. Soon that is done, now it's ready. I go back to Guitar Pro 8 and I have a show audio track here. And I have drag and drop and I will go to a folder where I selected that. Yeah, track blue goes in C minor. And there we have it. Two bars of the intro. So that was.
was it and it was really easy I think it's just to have a uh, guitar proof file and you for my way I had it the backing track in uh, band in the box you can uh, use other files maybe there will be some other uh, issues with the sync points but you can uh, manage the sync points as you want but this is uh, it's getting more complicated uh, I have done this in the in the, the easiest way that I could find and I think the combination between Guitar Pro 8 and Band in the Box is a really good combination so uh, I've been using Band in the Box for some time but I think now I have a really good use for it so this is how I use it and I really like the new feature in Guitar 8 Guitar Pro 8 with the audio file backing track that's a really great step forward so thank you for watching please subscribe and come back hope you like it bye